Welcome, Generals. The purpose of this video is to walk you through how to install either the JMP Rebalance Mod or the UI Mod. Installation is relatively simple, but will vary slightly depending on whether you bought the game from Steam or good old games. The directions for installing the UI Mod are the same as those for the Rebalance Mod. Also, Linux users have been able to play the mod using an emulator, so if you're running the base game, you should be able to install the mod without any issues. First, let's quickly discuss the difference between the UI and Rebalance mod so you know which one to install. Pandakraut created the UI mod first. The UI mod is an unofficial patch for the base game with some quality of life improvements. However, the game mechanics are still the base game. The purpose of the UI mod is to give you a better version of the base game since some issues were left unpatched after the release. Johnny and Pandakraut the dedicated creators of the JMP Rebalance mod have tirelessly worked on several iterations. The current release is 1.28.4 and a new version is in the works. If you're new to the Rebalance mod, prepare for a unique challenge because it is much more difficult. Regular Major General difficulty in the mod is equivalent to Legendary difficulty in the base game. While visually similar to the base game, the Rebalance mod introduces significant changes to game mechanics, unit perks, commander perks, career points, and weapon stats, all adding new dimensions to your gameplay. Although the Rebalance mod is more difficult than the base game, it's also customizable to change the difficulty. By opening up a few configurable files with Notepad or any text editor, a player can tune the game to something that they find both challenging and enjoyable. I'll cover the configuration files in a different video. Pandakraut also maintains a Google Docs mod overview file that provides information on all the significant changes. I'll include that link in the video description below. Of course, reading the change logs whenever an update to the mod is released is never a bad idea. As for installing, step one, download the latest mod zip file. The zip files for the good old games version are slightly different from the Steam version and will say GOG in the file name. Minor updates to the mod may use the same files for both. For those that don't know, Game Labs is no more. They made the Ultimate General and Ultimate Admiral games. Another studio purchased and absorbed the company. Therefore, the best way to download the JMP Rebalance mod is from the announcement sections of the official Discord channel. If you click the link in the video description below, it'll auto invite you to the Discord. The mod does download through Dropbox, but you do not need a Dropbox account. Just click the download arrow, and then when prompted to log in, just click continue with download only at the bottom of the login page, and the files will start downloading. Step two, open your download folder location. If you double click the zip file, you'll see that it contains three things, a mod folder, a managed folder, and a resources.assets file. Step three, locate the ultimate general civil war underscore data folder on your system. Now there's several ways that you can do this. If you use Steam or good old games game launcher apps, uh, you can have the app reveal where the location is. Steam users can go to the game library tab, right click on the game that you wish to locate, select manage, and then browse file locations. Good old games Galaxy users need to navigate to the game's launch page, left click on the slider button to the right of play, select manage installation, and then show folder. You can also locate the game directly manually. Most Windows operating systems will have the game installed on your C drive. There is a chance that the files are not in your C drive. For example, my desktop gaming computer uses a small hard drive that runs the operating system that's labeled the C drive. All my games and productivity software are installed on a separate solid state drive or an SSD that's labeled the D drive. The letter designation of the drive doesn't really matter as long as you know where your program files are installed. If you're having trouble finding where the game is installed on your system, just use the search feature for each drive and type in ultimate general civil war underscore data and it will eventually find it. Any of these methods will take you to the root directory of the game. 
Now, double click on the Ultimate General Civil War underscore data folder to open it. Step four, copy the resources.assets file in both the mod and manage folders from the zip into the game directory. I prefer to drag and drop the files, but you can extract them. Just ensure the extraction process doesn't make a brand new folder called rebalance mod and place all the files and folders in there because that's not going to work. Both folders and the resources file need to be in the root of ultimate general civil war underscore data folder. You will be asked if you want to overwrite the existing files such as the resources.assets file and the assembly-c-sharp file. Just say yes and the mod's installed. If you're installing a new version of the mod, most of the time you'll just overwrite the files that are there. However, there is one exception. Under the mod rebalance subdirectory, you'll find a file called officer surname.txt. This is the file that the game uses to generate the last names of officers who appear in the Academy for Hire. You can add any last names that you would like to appear in the game. I used AI to quickly give me a list of all the last names of Civil War officers for every major battle in the campaign and added them to the list. You can also add your own last name or last names of friends and family just to add some fun. Since I don't want this file to be overwritten, I drag and drop all the other files except for this one. Step five is to verify the installation. You will know the mod was installed correctly when you launch the game. The mod version will be listed after the base game version in the lower left of the screen. The JMP rebalance mod will look like this. The UI mod will look like this. And the base game looks like this. So if this is what you get after you launch, then you didn't do something right. That's it. If you run into any problems, you'll get help faster if you drop into the Discord channel and explain the issue. You may also post comments below about the issue, but my response time is going to be faster if you go through the Discord. Have fun and good luck with your campaigns, Generals.